Watching this video, man, it could save your life. You guys, this is just such a bizarre scene. <laughs> Look at this, man. Are you seeing this? I've been driving the last 20 miles through the woods here and the smoke has been so thick. Way thicker even than right here, but I come around this corner and it's this freaking massive lava flow field. And you know, I mean, I've seen that parts of it like this in different places, but in this region, but uh, just usually they're not this big. So combined with the smoke, it's just absolutely boggling my mind right now. I mean, like how did this shit form like this? This is crazy. Wow, what a bizarre landscape. Crazy. Jesus. Yeah, man, trying to climb up, do some scrambling up lava fields is some of the most difficult freaking hiking I've ever done. And this is nothing like the uh, the ones that I've seen in videos and TV shows of Hawaii. This is just absolutely bizarre. I gotta get up to the top of this and look off of the tip of it. <sighs> look at this, dude. Absolutely. Absolutely bizarre. Just, I mean, like, look at this thing. But being this far back into the woods, when uh, when the smoke is this bad, is like, you know, very eerie feeling. It's the first time I've ever been in an environment where. You know, you just feel almost like, you never know. You could come around a turn and damn wildfire could be raging, raging onward, but I don't wanna go, I just wanna go right there. I've never been on anything like this before. Look at the way it just flowed this way and then just stopped right here. So weird. Freaking dangerous too, man, no doubt about it. Talking about rocks and uh, loose rocks and whatnot. Uh, I just read on the news that this gal had gone missing. I don't remember how long she was gone for, but they did they did search for her for several Several days, months, weeks, whatever it was, and uh, she never was found. And when they finally found her just recently, they believe that she uh, got stuck in a rock slide. But I still, I just can't believe this. It's just so weird. And this type of shit is like kind of unpredictable. <laughs> Scary, crazy. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hopefully I'll live through it. So there's the car. I'm barely up above the car, but topping out over here. Absolutely bizarre, dude. So strange. Look at this freaking wall right here. 
Big old gnarly ass spider. I mean like, how did this area become his freaking habitat? Jesus, dude. Of course, then again, there's that one movie with the dude that uh, got himself trapped doing practically the exact freaking same thing I'm doing. So, gotta be freaking careful, dude. So, I mean, my curiosity, I certainly, I want to go up there and keep going, but... I feel like I'm pretty safe right here. Being pretty conservative, but uh, I mean, I can hear a car going by right there on the highway, but if I did have an accident right here, they wouldn't hear me coming. They wouldn't hear me going by. I got maybe some cell service, but uh, no real plan and nobody knows where the hell I'm at. So, it's so strange though. I mean, like, look at this. I want to get up to the top and like look off, which would be really cool to see what's up there, but probably can't see very far anyway so i think what i'm gonna do is just save this for another time perhaps when it's not so smoky and maybe the next time i can actually get through here because i mean i don't understand what's going on on these rocks how they formed like this or how easily they could slide but it doesn't seem very stable neither do i for that matter anyway, just want to take some photographs and stuff and then we're gonna hit the road we're out of here Strange, strange country up here in the uh, Cascades Lake. Scenic Loop. Highly recommend it. I've never, I've never been in such a precarious hiking, climbing spot. I mean, like, look at this shit. Fucking thing could fall right down at any second. And God knows what, what kind of open spaces are directly beneath me. This is, this is really crazy. nuts look at that thing I'm trying to go this way All right, you guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but occasionally I get myself into 
precarious situations. But what do they say about uh, judgment? They say, good judgment comes from experience, but experience comes from bad judgment. So I'm not saying it was a bad call to come up in here. I'm still only 150 yards off of the highway, but, and it's not that dangerous, perhaps. I'm not trying to be melodramatic about this, but I think I'm gonna make this video all on its own, standalone video, just to say, possibly the most sketchiest, dangerous place I've ever hiked. Because I mean, for one thing, I've got the camera set up. I could drop my camera, my phone, down in any of these holes while fumbling around with it trying to get it set up. So that's a hazard. Um, and there's all this loose stuff. I mean, like, but I didn't really realize it until I got kind of up here to the top. And you know, it's not very far down here, but that's the type of scenario where idiots, I shouldn't say that, but where people stumble into scenarios that they didn't really suspect the danger. This stuff is loose and it's, it moves around and it has moved for eons. And as curious and as interesting as it is, you know, once I got up in here, I realized how, and in remembering, uh, the uh, 72 hours movie guy, just, you know, rock slides happen for sure. And a lot of these rocks I'm moving around on are loose. So anyway, this could be one of those scenarios where a dingus just goes 150 yards off of the road and maybe never even seen again if I got buried, but, um, but could just be stuck here until search and rescue comes and wonders why there's a parked car over there for the last two and a half weeks. <laughs> So, yeah, just going to title this one, um, Don't Climb Around on Lava Fields, Lava Flows, uh, Alone in the Middle of the Wilderness. So, not the smartest thing I've done. I'm going to try to get out of here safely. Hopefully, if you're seeing this, then that means I survived. Uh, sorry, to tr not trying to make it too dramatic here, but, but yeah, I mean, this stuff, this hasn't moved for eons, but at any Point, any of these things could move so anyway super strange uh i wish i could get up there climb around but I'm definitely not going to climb up that way so say a little prayer gonna make it down to the bottom here this thing is wild though huh bizarre I mean, just think about it. Just that thing just decides to lay over. Or this one decides to roll and shift that way. I gotta get the F out of here, man. Was not my smartest move. Not my smartest move. All I gotta do is just get down this slope and back that way. But I don't know which way is the best way to do that, man. Good night. Unreal. Crazy. I mean, people go off into the lava fields on trails in Hawaii and get lost for freaking weeks, dude. Fortunately, I've got my where, wherewithal of where I'm at, but still, people go off and disappear in terrain just like this. Sorry to be so dramatic, but man, this caught me off guard. It's just bizarre. I just don't know. I mean, like, all these seem loose, like the whole thing could just slide that way. I mean, all this stuff is super steep, so I don't want to climb down something that has a a real steep pile of rocks up above it. That does not seem like a smart idea. Phone is going away. I've just got to get over there to the highway. Good night. Took some scratches here. That's, these things are sharp. But, you know, I've had some rocks about this size, maybe a little bit bigger, move under my feet. But nothing real substantial. But, I mean, think about it. These people that get caught in rock slides and stuff, they feel like they're safe. They don't see it coming. And then just before you, they can even react... It has slid down, but I can't believe how steep this thing is. And I'm standing around top. I need to get off of this, but look at it, dude. It's like pew, straight down to the bottom here. How did it push out like this? This is so bizarre. I'm getting closer to getting out of here. And I know this just seems ridiculous, but when you step on little rocks, medium sized ones, and they move under your feet, and then you look up and you realize that, you know, this entire thing could be held up by like a freaking Chenga, Jenga tower by one rock. I mean, I look at these things. You could be this close to... So I've tried to pick the least steep 
descent because man if it, if it just started sliding from the top there'd be no way to react i'm trying to pick the the less steep route to get out of here this is insane man i've never been you know caught air quotes in an area that i was just kind of nervous about my safety like this and i know go ahead and leave your comments and give your thumbs down and say that i'm acting like a total weenie but i'm just being honest man it's probably not that serious but good hell man need to get out of here i think i gotta go up this and back down those that's what we're gonna try to do so whew. yeah dude for real that was that was nuts and again like i just got out of the car and thought i'd Spend five minutes up there, maybe 10 minutes, and I'd be back. It's already been probably 30, 35 minutes. But uh, every time one of those rocks would shift, I mean, I saw maybe ones about this size. I stepped on a few like this that shifted. And uh, when you're in the middle of trying to traverse across it and it's it shifts, it's uh, there were a couple heart-stopping moments there for, for sure. But then, you know, I was just trying to be real selective on uh, not steep hills to come down. Because I swear to God. And there were a couple ones where I had to kind of retreat. But, like, look at that thing, man. You come down the face of that and you let one of those things loose that's a uh, phone. Thank you. One, let one of those loose that's actually holding up all the ones up above. There'd be no stopping it. Anyway, it's probably not that serious. I think it is that serious, but uh, curiosity killed the cat. Fortunately, this cat got away today, so kind of dumb, but what are you going to do? That's freaking awesome. Check it out, but if you're going to go climb around on it, make sure you got some other people in your party. You're not just out here by yourself where no one knows where you're at. Onward to Aurora, Oregon. Later.